Watch out. Whoa! What's up, everybody? Kent here from Kent's Garage Gym, and I'm here to talk to you about some pros and cons of owning your own home gym, or a garage gym, even. And this is just a quick, probably not very well thought out list that I'm making uh, right off the top of my head. Just the things that, that come to me suddenly on what pros and cons are. So uh, I can't think of a whole lot of cons, to tell you the truth. But um, the biggest cons, of course, are going to be the price and that you need some space to put all this stuff. So if you live in a big city and you're in an apartment and you don't have a lot of space, obviously it's, there's going to be a whole lot more cons to having like a home gym or some kind of weight lifting device inside of your, inside of your house rather, or your apartment rather than having a, uh, a detached garage like I do. So for me, obviously, it's a lot more beneficial having even a detached garage. If you have a garage that is attached to your house, it'll make some noise, but you know, with, with a detached garage, you can kind of get away from that there. So first of all, let's talk about the price. Um, I spent $3,000, $3,500 and counting on my home gym, and it just it keeps on building and building, but you don't have to spend that much money in order to have an awesome gym. You could spend $500. Thanks, Luke. <laughs> you could spend 500 bucks and get yourself a half rack and some, and some free weights. Or you could spend another $500 and get some dumbbells and a dumbbell rack. And that would be complete. After all that, I've got, I've got this lap pulled down behind me. But really, you don't even need that. You could, just put, you could just get some bands and put it around the top of the half rack and start doing pull-ups like that if you need less resistance. And if you want more resistance, you can just grab a belt that has a chain and hook on some weights in between your legs. So, I mean, as far as that goes, if, if I could go back and do it all and I had to do it for a cheaper price than what I did, I'd definitely just get the half rack and the dumbbells. Okay, so let's talk about some of the pros. I can be as loud as I want to here. I can play whatever music I want to here, as loud as I want. I can yell how I want. I can work out how I want. I don't have to wait for people to get off this machine or that machine before I get in there. I don't use any commute time at all. So no car, no gas money, no, I mean, no, what? I don't have to re-oil. I don't have to worry about wasting my car at all. Now, I mean, all that depends on how close the gym that you're going to right now is to you and everything. But for me, I think convenience is one of the biggest deals when it comes to having a home gym because you're only going to you're only going to work out when it's most convenient. If you have to drive 15, 20 minutes out to the gym, you're going to come up with excuses not to go. But if it's right next to you, if you just roll out of bed and it's right there, then you're going to have less and less of an excuse. Another deal, another pro. Um, you see my kid here, Luca. Luca's down here. You want to say hi, Luca? My family can come in anytime they want to. Anybody can come in anytime they want to. They can all use it whenever they like, and no one's going to say anything about it. No one's going to charge them anything for it. And if I ever want to, I can sell all this stuff for twice the amount that I bought it for. So really, it's quite awesome. It's, it's almost like I'm renting a space. You could charge people to come. You could charge people to come in and use your stuff, but honestly, I have a hard time getting getting people in here for free, let alone charging them money. So, those are some of the pros and cons, just right off of my head. On those are some of the pros and cons of of owning a home gym. So basically, it's just everything that you want. And I mean, man, think about think about the uh, the other gyms. They have monthly fees, and then they have surprise pop up fees, and all this other junk. So, you know, sometimes in my other gym that I was at, I popped a, a key code in there and it wouldn't work. Someone locks the door or something like that, you know. So, I'm not, you don't need to ever be stranded out in the cold if you've got your own gym. So, you need to go drink juice? I'll make you some juice. If you enjoyed the video, please click like and leave a comment down below. I appreciate it. Thank you. Bye.